Rex Alexander with Aero News Network here at Oshkosh 2024 with Warren Curry of Skyrise talking about their aircraft. Warren, tell me a little bit about the augmentation system that uh, we have in this aircraft. Yeah, so what we're doing here at Skyrise, we've been working over the last seven years to develop this SDC that will be certified next year. And what the SDC really involves is, is we're putting a fly-by-wire system that we call SkyOS into aircraft, general aviation aircraft, specifically next year delivering R66s with our fly-by-wire system. Pilots coming into this will experience something a little bit different than the normal helicopter pilot as far as feel because you don't have a collective and you don't have pedals, you really don't have a cyclic. What do you have? We have a single control stick. So with a fly-by-wire system, you can do, you know, simplify the operations of the cockpit. So the collective, the cyclic, the pedals have all been removed and you control all that for the single control stick, the still same flight parameters you have with traditional controls. Now looking at some of the things that we deal with as helicopter pilots, you and I have both been in those positions. What about the aerodynamic deficiencies we know, know exist? So vortex ring state, weathercock stability, a loss of tail road effectiveness. What's this bring to the table? Yeah, so the cockpit is sleep, but you know as uh, you and I as pilots, really it's what's in the back of this aircraft that, and that safety that's going to protect us, right? So the fly by wire system provides dynamic flight envelope protection. What that means is essentially keeping you inside of that safety diagram of where the aircraft can operate safely, perform effectively, but not allowing you to get into things like vortex ring state or other flight parameters that could put you in an unhat or a hazardous condition. Now from a standpoint of certification, of the pilot. Licensing, what kind of differences are we talking about? Yeah, it, it, there's a little bit of similarity. So if you're a helicopter pilot already, right, you can convert into the Skyrise 1, probably anticipate six hours or so of training. Big swing pilots can do so with the going into helicopter with about 30 hours, right, standard to a helicopter. And then if you're a brand new pilot, you can certainly train entirely in the Skyrise 1. We're still working out with the FAA what that looks like, but it'll probably be a little bit of a restricted category since our system flies so differently than a traditional helicopter. If you went from Skyrise 1, to another helicopter, you'd have to pick up additional training. As I understand, it's not just helicopters. We're looking at other aircraft as well, right? Aircraft agnostic. So this is just our first vehicle, our first aircraft that we're installing this system into. And you will, in several months, start hearing additional uh, partners that we will partner with to, to go into the systems. I'm trying to protect myself. <laughs> no, it's totally good, totally good. No, it's all good. Well, thank you so much for your time, and I hope you have a great show this year. Uh, look forward to seeing what comes out of uh, Skyrise in the future. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 remote pilot certificate, or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com.